That won't be a stickler for the rules. Na 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 na. Spoiler alert! Welcome to episode one forty-seven. Holy cow! Yeah. Yeah, That's thanks for watching. That's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. It's <laughs> a lot. <laughs> um, we'll be broadcasting, uh, webcasting to you. Uh, no, it's that would indicate we were live, wouldn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we are. Well, we're, but we are. We're we're podcasting to you on March fifteenth. How's that? Week of St. Patrick's Day. It's true. What? Yeah. So. That should be fun. I'm DJ. I'm Beth. And I'm Joe. Yay! Welcome to the show! And hanging out in our audience right now is Crackhead Blue. Yeah. Crackhead Blue. A lady. Super fan. Super fan. Yeah. So how's everybody's weekend? Uh, if you little, can remember that A far. little cold and a little rainy. If <sighs> it snowed here yeah. while I was at work today. Nice. Whoa. Yeah, I was like, ew. I heard snow was going to California. Boo. Yep. It's coming. Yeah. I don't know if and we're getting I, any more weather. I got but... rain. We got rain, too. Yep. Here in, here in Las Vegas. Wow. We got... Rain happened in, in the yeah. desert? <laughs> like 0. 0.63 tenths of a, or 63 hundredths of an inch. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. You did a lot of math for that. <laughs> yeah, and normal is point twenty two hundredths of an inch. So like normal we're for above a normal. rainstorm or normal for the season? For for this month. Oh well, big spend of Mother Nature. Yeah, yeah, and we're halfway through the month. Look <laughs> Literally at that. making it rain. Right, spring. All right, yeah. you know. Yep. All right. <laughs> Bingo. But oh well, this is not a weather show. I guess we shouldn't nah. go much further than that. Um, got it. Hey, we have uh, we have Melissa George. We're gonna talk a little bit about this week. Okay. Um, just a little bit. Just a little. I promise. Um, a couple of things. I'll just go. I'll, let me just start out with the news. Do you guys have any news? No. Um, not so much news. Just an announcement or two. I don't Ooh. Think it's Ooh. News. News. Okay. Maybe just one I, I like announcements. Do I need to sing the Girl lead? Scout announcement song? D- I don't even know what that is. But, yeah, it's, um, be- it's better off without it. All right. I'm curious, too, actually. Uh, just. <laughs> the Snyder Cut for Justice League Oh. hits Friday on HBO Go. Yes, that's in my news. I better take that off. The Mayans Season 3 Ooh. starts March 19th as well. Nice. Cool. And Netflix special Drive to Survive, all about Formula One starts on march 19th as well lovely so three Ooh. shows two shows one movie that i'm kind of interested well let me back that up i don't really have a strange cur- urgency to see the Zack snyder cut for two reasons it's four hours long Oof. yeah and it's dc um uh, yeah that's okay m- Mayans, I got pretty invested in watching the two seasons, like being able to binge them. Mm. So I might, I might wait and binge this one when it's all done. It's a good idea. Um, and Drive to Survive, I'll probably finish that by Saturday morning. Yeah, like as, like I, as soon as I you will, can physically, you're just gonna blast I, it. Yeah, <laughs> I will blast through that season and just be ready for race season to start. Yeah. Hey. You know, now that now that there's, I don't know if you like the the races that come here to Las Vegas, but now that you have a place to stay, you don't have to get a hotel and stuff. So you I'm know, not you're super big on NASCAR. I, I appreciate that, but I I'm not <clears> real big on NASCAR, and drag racing is only fun for maybe 15 minutes. So yeah, yeah. If, I think if there was a racing besides that, but they were talking about putting an F1 track in Vegas along with Miami, and I was like, oh boy, like that. That'd be even easier to access because right now the closest F1 track is in Austin, Texas. Oh, oh wow! So you just a hop, skip, and jump away, really? Yeah, Vegas would be drivable. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Well, I'm sure they will. Keep us posted. I mean, you're you're in on that stuff. So yeah, I don't think it's gonna do. happen. There's too much money that needs to go that way. So, 
Well, they have the Raiders now. That's so what I mean. I they already bought their big ticket thing. They don't re- really need to bring anything. Wait a else. minute. I am so out of touch in sports ball. Where are the Raiders at now? Las Vegas. What? Las Vegas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> out of touch with yeah. sports ball. <laughs> oh, right. I'm out sorry. Like with... my dad. And this is your out of touch with sports ball moment. My bad. <laughs> Can't believe that. Yeah. But Las Vegas Raiders. The, wow. That the... sounds funny. <laughs> but the locals, you know who they love? They the love Chargers. the Golden Knights. Well, they love the Chargers too in Vegas before they moved to LA. But yeah, Golden Knights are. It's a different sport altogether. But yeah, more oh, yeah. sports ball. Your so Golden Knights out there. Uh... There's someone even less in touch with sports ball. Hooray. They had yeah. some great seasons. Their 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 inaugural season, they went to the finals. That's ridiculous. What do the Golden yeah. Knights play? Hockey. No. Hockey. Hockey. What? Or, In Vegas? Or the flat ball. Yeah. 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 Like uh, ice hockey? Yeah, they, it's yes. all indoors, Beth. It's I know. It's, I'm right. not stupid. <laughs> I'm just incredulous. <laughs> There's a difference. Phoenix has a team, too. Oh, God. Why? Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hockey happens in places like Minnesota and Wisconsin. Why you got to take that from them? <laughs> well, hey, we, we, they got one in LA too. Ah, is that yeah, the Kings? They weren't. That's the Kings. Yes. Oh, look at me! Not that out of touch with sports. Got one. Ball. What about San Jose? You know that uh, one? That's the Mighty Ducks, right? No, no the that's Sharks. Anaheim. The Sharks. There you go. And yep. then the Mighty Ducks are Anaheim. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yep. Is it because yep. of Disney? Uh, that mean, was the original purpose of the team. Disney no longer owns the team. Right. But yes, yeah. they were the mighty ducks of Anaheim when they got when they started. Right. Yeah. And then, now they're just the ducks. So the is ducks. Disney all wrapped up in the Angels too? Um, no, they no. don't own them. I don't think so. They, okay. Okay. So they were the <clears throat> California Angels. <clears throat> now they are the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. But think about that one. Don't for a the second. Dodgers want to beat them up? <laughs> I mean, there's still the Los Angeles Dodgers, but That's it's weird. It is yeah. weird. Alfie, lay down. People, Sorry, that happened a while ago. So. Well, yeah. Again, yeah. <laughs> don't touch with sports. Yeah, ball. we are way off topic. Yeah. So, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So Snyder Cut, was- Mayan season three, <laughs> and Drive to Survive on Netflix. Hooray! That's what I'm looking. Those are the three things I'm looking forward to. Um, cool. Well, and cool. The int- I heard an interesting story about the Zack Snyder Cut, which we can talk about later in the show. Okay. Okay. That sounds like fun. Okay. Um. So Deadpool three uh, looks like it hasn't even started filming yet. Like, and it doesn't even have. It's not even slated to film in twenty twenty one. Uh. But it looks like its tentative release date is November third, twenty twenty three. Oh. So. And there and is. uh. Twenty three. Yikes. I know. It's only right? two years <laughs> away. Is anybody even going to be around by then? No. Probably right. Not. Like, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I put um, some vaccinations for a dog today, and their thing was like 2024, and I'm like, wow. Oh, no. People are thinking ahead. Seriously. Yeah. That's that crazy. rabies shot's going to last forever. <laughs> Which is what you want. Um, right. But sadly, um, it seems as though uh, Zazie Beats is not going to be back. Oh. So if no Domino, if- or are they going to recast Domino? Uh well I they there was talk about it but then when they they were talking about like redoing it or doing mm-hmm. the, or casting or whatever she hasn't got a call so hmm. well that's Who a bummer because she was fantastic I thought she Jazzy was. did a great job as uh, Domino she's yeah I do too just just a yeah just a gem yeah that's pretty lame. Oh well. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's like I said, they haven't even started deciding to film in 2021. So. Um, by 2022, they might just say, oh, here, Zazie, come on back. That's true. They haven't even started yet. It's a possible that they just yeah. haven't called her yet. Although, yeah. that seems stupid because <coughs> Domino was freaking sick and yeah, so lucky. Yeah. I liked her character. <laughs> yeah, she was good. Yeah. Um, oh, for those of you who like Descendants, just so you know... Descendants, the royal wedding Wait. will be on Disney Plus. Who's getting married? <laughs> I know. What's It'll be this summer. Descendants is like the children of the Disney villains. Yeah. Uh, so like the main one in the first one was like Maleficent's daughter, and then mm. yep. they've gotten like Ursula's daughter, and they've gotten like Jafar's kid, and all these all these different villains 
and they go, and Cruella, yeah, Cruella, Cruella son, Deville, but, they, yeah, they and they go to like high school because yeah. that's where we mine drama from high school. I'm already now, out. now Cruella's son, <laughs> like the the guy who played him, mm-hmm. just recently died, right? I I did not know that. Yeah, admittedly, I, he... I have only seen the first one, and then oh, I okay. meant to watch the second one. But I got distracted by a butterfly, and then I forgot. <laughs> ah, yeah, that easily it. distracted. <laughs> Probably my dog was like, "Oh, look, here's some cardboard I'm gonna eat," and I was like, "No," and I took it away from him, and then I forgot. So, yeah, but, I mean that's usually I what forgot. happens. Yeah. That's that's what happened. So anyhow, so I don't know if, how they're gonna work that into the show. I mean, or work it out, or just recast him i guess i don't know we'll see what happens hold on let me see if he's um, actually dead hey set your set the date for march 19th are you ready for this sure falcon and the winter soldier on disney plus oh that's another one starting on friday man yeah well they just yeah, finished so. with the thingy thing so oh yeah he did die 20 yeah. years old yeah. what a bummer carlos i DeVille. know yep so we'll see I don't. We'll find out more plans about it um, as it gets closer. I'm sure no. when he gets all the emails. Yeah. So, uh, if I sound funny, I have like this cut on my tongue. I don't know how I got it. So, like, I feel like my tongue is just swelling up. Sharp and, and it's food. not a tongue. Thing. Yeah. You're my, not supposed to chew the light bulbs. You're my dinner to was in. too sharp, but now my tongue hurts. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to do an Uncle Fester impression. Oh, don't do that. So I'm going to pose this question on TikTok, but um, just so you know, Godzilla and Godzilla versus Kong is in theaters and on HBO Max on March 31st. Yeah. So I want to (laughs) watch it so bad. 15 days. Honestly, that's really not very long. That's a whole work pay period. That's true. That's two <laughs> two episodes of our show. Huh? I have to do payroll twice probably before I get to watch it. So Oh my gosh. Th- it's like <laughs> an eternity. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. You saw it but already, it, DJ or no? I, no, no, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so it's okay. It's coming okay. I thought yeah. they released maybe it was just the trailers everybody was going gaga. Yeah, on. it was the okay. trailers. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I sent you that. guys I, the trailer. I I talked about it on the show like a few shows back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was confused on that. So my TikTok is going to just basically say, okay, um, you know, Godzilla versus Kong. Whose side are you on? Oh. Uh, I know. Easy, easy choice. Oh yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy choice. Uh, what? God- whose side are you on? Godzilla all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all so. Day. I am also a Godzilla fan. Yeah. But I, oh. I like Kong, too. I feel bad for Kong all the time. Whereas Godzilla too. hypes me the freak up. Yeah. Like, if you listen to the Godzilla song, yeah, man, the old one. Yeah. Like, woo! Hype me up! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go crash into some stuff. Knock down a building. Yeah! Yeah. Yeah, he's a... Uh... Yeah, he's a destroyer. <laughs> he messes absolutely he messes things up. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I'm I'm with Godzilla as well. <laughs> Godzilla, <crew. laughs> although I'm yeah, but I'm also like I I also feel bad for for Kong. Like he he get, he's yeah, a nice guy. Kinda. I feel like Kong sort of even in the original King Kong, like he was just hanging out, eating yeah. villagers, I guess, doing his thing, and then <laughs> some. Is he English or American? I can't remember. Just rolls yeah, some up. Some rich white guy ruins it for everybody. Right? Basically. It's the story of yeah. the world. And he drags yeah. him to New York where he's just like, hey, I just want to hang out with my blonde girlfriend. And he's like climbing because he thinks it's a tree. And the planes are shooting at him. It's horrible. Yep. I feel so yep. bad for King Kong. And that's why I have problems with Kong versus Godzilla. But really, I just... I. I love Godzilla and King Kong makes me sad. So I don't want either of them to win or lose. I think they should team up. Yeah. Really? 
That's what should. They happen. should team up and bust the the colonizers. Well, p- part of me thinks <laughs> yeah. they're going to because the trailer showed like a lot of the other classic monsters that Godzilla would normally fight. Yeah, but in the last yeah. in the last uh, movie, King of the Monsters, like Godzilla was protecting us from Rodan and Ghidorah and right, right. So I think Kong's gonna come in and he's gonna probably think, oh man, another threat. And then they, no, 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 I'm here to help. Well, the so thing it'll is, be like from what I've one seen, one of those friendships forged in fire. That'd be badass. But yeah. the thing that I've seen in the trailers is they're like, we need him. So maybe there's more scarier monsters that they think Godzilla right. can't handle on his own. But then why are they clocking each other with buildings and helicopters? Because when they and shit? first get there, they're like, man, I'm. This is my turf. No, man. But it's I'm, Kong. I'm Godzilla the, versus Kong. I'm there's the like number a, one monster. A versus in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, although it could just be poor marketing, like Ghostbusters, answer the call. Right. Because I feel like if people didn't think that it was a sequel twenty years l- or thirty years later, they would have given right. it at least part of a fair shake. In Absolutely. A yeah. In a world where nothing makes sense, but we do it for the money. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, sorry for that tangent. That's nah, I, mean, I mean, it's the story of the show, really. Godzilla. Da, da, so da, if you... Da, 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 <laughs> now it's stuck in my head. <laughs> Sorry. Now okay. it is stuck in your head. Mm-hmm. So if you have a tangent you'd like us to, to follow, <laughs> you can send us a text at 512podcast. Just not right now. I don't have access to my phone. Uh, but uh, in, in about a half an hour, I'll have my access. <laughs> um, yeah. 512 podcast that's 512-763-2278 uh send us a text a voicemail we like voicemails um or you know just go to our website you'll find stuff there you know stuff to do you'll find our email at our website our website is uh www.tfwmovies.com uh and then uh shout out at tfwmovies.com is our email address you yeah. um <laughs> facebook we're on facebook twitter instagram yeah you'll find us <laughs> so for those who don't know why uh joe and i just started laughing we both posted <laughs> the same gif at the same time in relation to godzilla oh. That's great. That's pretty fantastic. <laughs> I should be screen capturing that <laughs> for the for the YouTube version. So they, you could see our chat. They're like going in unison. It's fantastic. It is pretty good. It's time oh, to smash. Godzilla putting on his ah. six sunglasses. Nice. Or are they safety sunglasses? Safety glasses. They like, look like uh, safety gla- yeah, safety he's like, goggles. I'm a bus Tokyo, yeah. so I need to protect my eyeballs. Gotta put my PPE on, bro. Correct. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Keep it safe. Uh, Patreon. We really, really, really want uh, a Twinkie Wiener sandwich eat off. Mm. I, I guess you could call it I that. I wouldn't I call don't it know. that at all. Don't. Okay, let's not call it that. <laughs> um, but anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would maybe one call more. it a, a, uh, a Twinkie Wiener sandwich feast. There. There they go. That's good. That's good. Uh, speaking of... <laughs> I just I just saw these Universal Studios. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know if you saw this, but they're they're making so there's a hot dog and they they made like the the bun is really a shark. Oh. <laughs> so the hot dog is like halfway into the shark and then they put ketchup on it as part of the advertising. Where are you seeing so, this? I, it, I, you know what? It's something Penny got. It's an email that she got where they're advertising this. And they have all this new food inspired by the movies. They have turkey legs in body bags. Oh, my God. Wow. Well, last God. time I went to Universal Studios, I went into the haunted house, and there was a room full of, like, body bags with bodies, and it smelled like ham. So I guess maybe that's yeah. a tie-in. It might be. It very well might be. Oh, oh, There's a oh. ton of stuff. Oh. Let me guess. You're looking it up. I Googled it. Oh, you Googled it? What? Yeah. I I don't know if I'm looking at the same thing as you, but um, I'm going to post it in the chat, and then I'll post it on Instagrams. Oh, okay. Follow our Instagram. Uh, it's at TFW Movies, uh, and you'll see this this uh, thing that's being posted to us right now. Yeah, well. But, yeah, it, and there's a whole yeah. bunch of stuff. Apparently, there's even more 
uh, in Japan. Well, at the Universal Studios Japan. Makes sense. So they are all yeah. about making new and interesting foods and how they look. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So I don't know that. That sorry. Here's yet another tangent. Um, but oh, uh, and it, it like it features like you know the the Jaws where the the woman is yes yeah that. okay <laughs> yep that's exactly uh, what it is got it, it I the, would eat that the bun yeah. is absolutely looks like a shark it is shaped it is I would eat that embossed yeah. there is hot dog coming out of its mouth like a a big tongue I suppose yep and ketchup yep. within uh yep. it's I. I will post it on Instagram because the wording yeah. does not do it justice. <laughs> no, it does not. And also, I so totally want to eat a Jaws hot dog. Yeah, yeah right? I would, definitely I would eat the crap eat out of that. Yeah, I'd eat a Jaws hot dog. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> anyway. Jaws, let me get a Jaws dog. Jaws dog. The, the point is, patreon.com slash tfwmovies. <laughs> we... Would like one more subscriber, and then we could eat uh, a not Jaws dog. We'd eat a, right. a Twinkie dog. A Twinkie dog, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. which I'm hoping <laughs> will happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to our our movie list, shall we? Yes, let's. Uh, All right. Here we go. I'm reading from my notes. So yeah, here we go. Um, so this actress. Born in 1976, so she's the same age as, as my sister. Oh. Yeah. Um, she she was born in uh, 1976 in Australia. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So she's Australian. Um, <laughs> That's usually how that works. Yeah. She was born so in Australia. Yeah. So <laughs> she is Guatemalan. <laughs> well, I mean, you could be American and born in another country, like if, if you're you born like, on base and like dual citizenship. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, see, thank you. I thank stand. You. I sit here corrected. So this actress was a professional roller skater. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Before she was an actress or a model. Oh um, yeah, yeah. So um, anyway, you'll see her on TV a lot. And her TV and film career uh, in the United States and Australia is barely spanning a decade. Huh. Barely. Yeah, so she's just getting started. Right? Um, and that is none other than Melissa George. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know, it's just getting started. So, just getting started, spanning right? A decade? Because mm. that's, you know. Like Amityville was I, in 2005. Yeah, that was um, 16 okay, years ago. Okay, so uh, maybe this hasn't been updated on on the in, uh, IMDb, because mm. that's where I steal this stuff sorry, from. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, here we go. So, we'll start off with Crackhead Blues List, like we always do. All right. She has... It's not a list. It's a single movie. It's called 30 Days of Night. Yes. And that sounds absolutely terrifying. It's she, yes, yeah. She does horror films, just so you know. She has and then done regular some TV. horror films. Yes, <laughs> yes. In fact, um, wait, isn't that how we got her out of yes, this? Yes, from yeah. a yeah. horror film. A horror film. <laughs> but she has been in God. other things that are not as scary. They're not as scary, absolutely. And and we'll go through that. Um, all right, and so. Here's some of our fans. So uh, James, he texts in. He says, Melissa George this week. Uh, I hate to say this, but you guys stunt me <laughs> for this round. For the life of me, I can't think of anything she's in. Mm. And I know you'll list off a bunch and I'll kick myself. No, without, don't feel uh, bad. Not a bunch. Mm -hmm. Right. Not a bunch. But he says, without cheating, I just don't know. So says, but... To Beth, Joe, and of course DJ, thank you for the show. Have fun and keep it up. Aw, thank you yeah, for thank listening. You, man. Yeah, I love good. those positive messages, by the way. So I will read them every single time. <laughs> so I love it. Read the negative ones too, though. Well, yeah. If I have a negative one, I'll read that too. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it's only but fair. so far, yeah, we're all good so far. Um, 
so now we have TikTok group, which uh, wasn't much of a group. It was one person. Um, at Mo underscore the prof HJ says, oh, I know her, but I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it was her, Ryan Reynolds, or Chloe, right. Chloe Grace Moretz. So we went, yeah. we rode less traveled. Absolutely. And this will help people get to know her yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. Um, all right. So. Pretty much just watch 30 Days of Night. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'll watch that. DJ doesn't have to. DJ, I don't want to. Ex- you're excused. Oh, good. Oh, good. Unless we do another number one, and that happens to be somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I'm so glad you didn't even think I was, about that. I was kind of thinking about that. <laughs> Were you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> you should be happy you got seven, DJ. Ah, uh, yeah. Seven was easy. I liked seven. Hmm. Yeah. So, okay. So now it's time for the cast list. Here we go. Um, this one is definitely not a movie, but she uh, is part of the TV. She was in an episode of Star Trek Discovery. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. Um, and that's how you really recognize her. You see her in a lot of TV stuff. She is in a lot of TV stuff. Um, I've never watched it, but Grey's Anatomy, apparently, she's in. She was in so. a story arc on Grey's Anatomy. That's on my uh, honorable mentions list, actually. Oh, fantastic. Sorry to steal that. It's okay, Ruiner. I know. Dang, um, Gattaca. Right Did you ever see Gattaca? Yeah. I'm sorry, Gothica. Sorry. <laughs> but I God. saw that too. Okay, there you Answer go. Answer stance. So I, Answer <laughs> stance. <laughs> yeah, God. <sighs> Read the notes. <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, that, that's it. <laughs> that's all I have. Gattaca's <laughs> really good, though. It is. Gattaca's good. I feel like good. I've seen that, but I don't remember. We'll talk about it later. That's okay. that's a un, that's a tangent that we can go off on when we like do Jude Law or you know yeah okay yeah science fiction movies. Um, Got it. So Beth, what do you have? Thirty Days of Night. Also, <laughs> oh, honorable mention to Down with Love, which is a great uh, style kind of style emulated movie of like the old Doris Day Rock Hudson movies. With Ewan McGregor and Renee Zellweger, but Melissa George plays Elkie, the flight attendant, and she's very cute. But the movie is not does not contain enough of her to actually be like on the real list. And then she was in Grey's Anatomy, which is a TV show. Uh, she played Meredith's best friend from college, and I actually really didn't like her character at all. And when she left, I was like, "Well, that's a crying shame." But <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I do enjoy Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's also an honorable go. mention. Got it. All right. Sweet. Cool. Well, Joe, what have uh, you got? All I've got is Amityville and Three <laughs> Days of Night. There you go. So, uh, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, those are crazy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The horror ones, of course. Well, I had a feeling. I, did, I thought you'd have more horror movies on your list from with her in it, so. Well, 30 Days of Night started out as a graphic novel, right, Joe? Correct. And oh, just when I I had never had any exposure to the Elfie, stop that, to the the graphic novel at all. I had only like I was my only exposure was the movie and I was just like, "Holy crap. What a brilliant premise." Like, of course, vampires are going to live where the night is the longest. <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes, makes so much sense. So right. I had yeah. to go see it because I was just like, ah, I'm so dumb that I never thought of that. And I thought it was pretty great. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not like they're gonna hang out at the and like at the equator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably a bad idea. For I, them. I don't know. Maybe the Twilight ones because of the sparkle. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, no. maybe. <laughs> but like from dusk uh, till dawn when they're in Mexico, that's like the the equator right down there that's right? true but look at like wh- what they did and it's it's different a lot just yeah. The, yeah that's true good point yeah we don't have to go down that road yeah you don't <laughs> you don't wanna no no i don't i know all right well let's get into stuff we're putting in our eyes and alphabet movie soup how how about that okay yeah yeah um and i had the pick this week it was a b movie 
Um, <laughs> and it wasn't the B movie. <laughs> <laughs> the animated bees um, almost was because I saw it there and I was like ooh <laughs> so um, but it, it was big business on the Disney Plus it was those indeed. of you who are Patreon subscribers uh, already knew that because I put it in the uh, uh, Marco Polo which is part of the Patreon group anyhow so big business <laughs> Uh, that was funny. That was a good film. I'm. I don't know what. What do you guys think? Uh, I'll start off with you guys. I always enjoy Big Business. <laughs> yes. But yeah. um, Bet Midler, like specifically '80s brassy, big shoulder Bet oh, Midler, yeah. reminds me yeah. so much of my stepmother. <laughs> so. Oh wow. That's just like. It's like hanging out with my family when I get to see, <laughs> when I get to see Aww. 80s big shoulder brassy Bette Midler. So it makes me I'm happy. So much yodeling. Yodeling! <laughs> it's I love hard it. hard to yodel, guys. Yeah. 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 I've tried. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> um, I enjoy it. I love Bette Midler. I love Billy, or Billy? Billy Tomlin. <laughs> yes. Lily Billy Tomlin. Tomlin. Um, I... I find it very amusing how much in this movie is just like, well, someone wasn't paying attention and someone just said, that was weird. Let's go with it. It's like 90% yeah. of this movie. <laughs> a lot of the, a lot of the double interactions was like, come on guys. Like, <laughs> uh, I mean, I know it's not supposed to be ultra realism, but some of it was just a little too silly. Um, I did get some laughs out of it though. Um, and then to see the Tremors guy randomly, <laughs> I'm like, yes, now we can get started. Now oh this movie's a movie. God. <laughs> That's then, what uh, started it for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, just, I'm kidding. Um, I love it. I'm trying to think of what else I... This little Seth Green. Yep, baby funny. Seth yes. Green. <laughs> yep, that's on my notes. <laughs> Calling himself Sly. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, Playing with the Rambo gun. There was some jokes in there that probably wouldn't fly today. Oh, a lot of, of you know, probably. the years oh. that have gone oh, yeah. by and yeah. things that have happened. That's but true. But when he was like, the, the two guys that were hanging out together and he was like, don't tell me y'all are sleeping in the same bed. And I was like, oh boy, here we go. And then he was like, that's so nice of you guys to do that. Like, oh, okay. He's just, he doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, even, yeah. even in yeah. the movie, they're kind of just going like, he, he doesn't know any better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, he's like, oh, dinner. I could use a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> and then they yeah, take him to a sushi <laughs> restaurant. What? He's like, uh, there's not enough fire on this fish. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, no, there are a, a fair number of jokes, I would say, that people today would be like, yeah, that's that's not going to work here. Let's let's change yeah. some things. So. Yeah. But it was, was it like 88 or 89? 88. 88, 88. I think. And yeah, 1988. It, it was a different time, children. It was a different yes. time. I mean, the opening music kind of set the, the tone of the whole thing. Yeah. Which I thought was really good. I enjoy um, some big band music because I'm an yeah. old lady. <laughs> um, the dog <laughs> in the elevator. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so the two Lily Tomlins... Yes. The two roses crack me up so bad because one is just like twitchy and all like, ah, oh, I'm gonna save Jupiter Holler and like yeah. all feisty and like even With in her snakes. sleep doing a little snake thing. And yes. then City Rose is just like, oh, I always wanted to. Oh, the dog! <laughs> just yeah, like, every dog she sees, she's like, oh, look at that. I mean, yes. In her defense, I also do that. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I really liked the two the two Lily Tomlins, and yeah. I honestly I like the country Sadie better the the country Bette Midler better right. because City Sadie monumental crazy lady just so mean not nice yeah and kind of gross the way she yeah. thought of things so yeah I'll stick with country Sadie <laughs> country Sadie did, did, okay. Did anybody notice like how un unhappy the cow looked when when the yodeling? Yes, and when all she was yodeling started? at the cow. 
<laughs> Penny and I both looked at each other and go, yeah, that cow is not happy. The cow is like, geez, Louise, can we not? This is the 43rd take. How much yodeling am I expected to take here? <laughs> you're doing it right in my face. Right in my yeah. face, and you're yanking on my udders. <laughs> yeah. Dancing in your little gingham dress. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, the, the golf ball wedding ring. It never, never fails to make me laugh that he's like yeah i saw it in big putts magazine <laughs> big putts <laughs> yeah. it's a real golf ball miniaturized down miniaturized yeah i was like bro come on he who are you fooling he's a very you know he's a happy oh i know simple I know. mini golf man simple mini golf man that's right name is rune (laughs) r-o-o-n r-o-o-n spells spells rune Rune. (laughs) (laughs) well i like big business it makes me happy i remember watching it as a kid and just going oh my god they have the same names too and they look the same (laughs) yeah so you guys noticed in the beginning that the lady who's like bringing the babies and the gets them mixed up. You notice that she put the pea sample right on the tray with the cookies. And then yes. with the apple juice and brought it into her and said, okay, snack time. You know someone yep. was drinking pee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Gross. That was just pretty, ugh. pretty good nasty. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, nanny. <laughs> well done, lady. So you made somebody drink pee. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well done. So I would, I myself, probably partially for nostalgic reasons, would give this movie an eight. Yeah. And yeah. Joe's like, God, I'm giving, really? <laughs> I'm giving it an eight as well. There was just so much. With, I, I mean, even with little Seth Green, just yeah, baby absolutely Seth. hilarious. You mean Sly? Yeah, that's Sly. definitely. <laughs> um, I, I didn't notice this until Crackhead Blue mentioned it. But she said there was a lot of monologuing going on. Like, it felt like each character was just waiting for their turn to say their line. And then I kind of started noticing that more. Okay, yeah. Um, There wasn't really, like, a flow to the scenes. It was just like, all right, you go. Okay, you go. Okay, you go. And we're back. Okay, now let's go do the thing. Yeah, I I have a feeling that had to do with their, their editing process and um, the – just having the two gir- two girls, I mean, the same person, and then having to splice that. Right. Yeah. I, I be, saw that as well. It could I be really that, or it could just be the writing. It wasn't those scenes. It was just the scenes where, like, something's happening. Where they're explaining yeah. a bunch of stuff. There was a lot of exposition. Yeah, yeah. A lot of exposition, and it felt yeah. like there was just, like, taking turns reading lines, not really building chemistry. Um, but, yeah. Okay. I give it a... I guess a six. Wow. Nice. Since it's like, it was average, but it had some big stars in it. And the comedy is period. It's for that period. I'm sure it was quite funny. Yeah. A lot of adult jokes. Well, yeah. yeah, It was like the dealing with the Italian guy where he's like, oh, man. The I sure negotiations are soft. He's like, nah, they're hard. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, it was. The, it was <laughs> okay. It's definitely a touchstone movie, which means Disney made it, but for adults. And yep. Yep. yeah, there was a lot of those kind of like where you're Very just like, so. wow. Also, yeah, he went there. Okay, they sure did. Also, like whoever, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and step out on this limb as a woman. If a man walked up to me, and if I knew him or not, and he touched my sweater, and Mm. he said, I used to be allergic to Angora, but I'm okay now. Like, in this supposed, like, you could tell he was trying to be all sexy. That's not going to get you anywhere. That was the door, or the desk guy, Yeah, the desk guy. (laughs) Yeah. And he... (laughs) He's just uh, picking up on things that Country Bet Midler is saying, thinking that she's hitting on him. She's not. So then nope. he has a run-in with City Bet Midler, and it fails. Failed r- miserably. Yeah, like black eye fails. Yeah. And I feel like 
even if someone was hitting on you, that's just not the way to approach someone in a hallway outside their room. Yeah, probably. (laughs) Maybe I'm wrong on this. I guess I won't speak for all women, but that wouldn't do anything for me. You're not you're not getting anywhere with that. (laughs) So what do you mean? That was ultra smooth. Dis wow. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you've been with Blue how long? <laughs> well, I'm not allergic to Angora. Well, so. that, I mean, that ah, that makes point. the difference right there. <laughs> big, big difference. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, that that's big business. All right. It's, that's yeah. big business. It's one of those, like, goofy 80s comedies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if you ever saw Outrageous Fortune, which is extremely dirtier, um, but also has, it has... Bette Midler and Shelley Long in it. <laughs> and it's a very funny movie, but it's dirtier and it's 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 pretty racy and um but it has the same kind of like level of 80s big hair craziness. Mm-hmm. So. So there's that. What's it called? Outrageous it called? Fortune. Outrageous Fortune. Yeah. And I might just like it a lot because, again, my stepmother reminds me of Bette Midler. And there's... Yeah. I watched it a lot when I was younger, which is... Pro- I mean, it's probably inappropriate for how young I was watching it, but... Hey, who's counting? Yeah, I mean... Look how you- well I turned out! <laughs> so... so well rounded. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. What? Are we done with Big Business? I think so. Um, you have C next week. I do. Right? And we're going to yeah. watch Coming to with the number two America, which is America. the Coming to America sequel. Okay. So if, and uh, that is on Amazon, Amazon Prime, Prime, right? Prime. There you go. You heard it here first. Well, you might have heard it somewhere else first, but you heard it here. Well. Also. Yeah. As yeah. well. <laughs> that's, that's a good You're point. You're continuing to hear it here. Um, that's right. <laughs> Um, uh, who do we want to pick for next week? Uh, you know, like Bette Midler, Lily Tomlin, hmm. uh, Fred Ward. Seth Green. Oh, Seth Green. <laughs> we haven't done Seth Green, have we? I don't think we have. Mm-mm. Oh, we should do Seth Green. You think? I think so. What do you guys think? I'm cool with um, that if Joe's cool with that. Whatever, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Seth Green. We'll do Seth Green. There we go. All right. I like it. Uh, oh, thank you for writing that down, because I may forget. <laughs> well, I can hear you writing it down. Oh, good. <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, so we all watched uh, Raya and the Last Dragon, we right? We did. You yes, guys watched did. it last week, and I finally got the chance to watch it this week, and I oh, loved it. I watched it this week as well, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so what did so, you yeah. think of it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah. Oh, I loved it a lot. I cried twice now. Oh, like, my it God. Made s- I, was... I know. Ugh. We watched it Oops. Saturday, and I had kind of an emotional, crappy day on Saturday. And I came home, and I'm like, I need to watch this to feel better, because I know it's going to be cool. And I did, uh... but then through the whole second half of the movie, I was just, like, crying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, Ooh. It's like I knew this was gonna happen. Everybody uh, just needs to work together. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't people be nice and trust each other? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's it's. I really liked it, and I'll watch it again. And I thought it was beautiful. Ah, uh, just beautiful. And it felt yeah. like a really creative premise. Like, it wasn't right. the same old stuff that we see all the time. Right. And uh, yep. we were listening to the beginning the beginning introduction, and I'm like, I think that's Kelly Marie Tran. And it was Kelly Marie Tran. Uh, oh, so you didn't know going into it. No, I didn't. Ah. Okay. But. That and, and yeah, like, how do you not recognize Aquafina? Yeah. That, oh, That God. voice. She is oh, so. God. And when she's in her secondary form. It just looks like Aquafina. It looks like her. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> so one thing I will say, uh, and if you want to put a spoiler warning up in case people have not seen it yet, which yeah. is probably the case. Uh, so spoilers ahead, guys. Dun, dun, dun. It will be edited, and your timestamp will be ready for you to come in. Yeah. Um, yep. Sisu's introduction mm-hmm. 
took me out of the movie for a, just a little bit. I was like, man, man, like I thought this was going to be a little more on the serious tip because of everything oh. I've seen up until this point. Oh yeah. yeah. I know it I know it's a Disney movie, but it was like wow, they really went they really went uh contemporary just goofy right off the gate and I'm yeah. right out the gate I'm just like uh well, she's, and then she's the goofy sister. But still yeah. like it was just kind of too much for me okay. and then Biker rem- or Blue reminded me it's a kids movie. Uh-huh. And I said, "Yeah, yep, 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 yep." Yeah. yeah. All right. It was a kid. And then I got over. Then I got over it. (laughs) She was the goofy kids, uh, like uh, she was. She was a much prettier Jar Jar Banks. Yeah, not that comparison. (laughs) I was more thinking the dragon from uh, Mulan. Ah, Mushu. Okay. She was like an um, updated Mushu. Well, I gotta say, I like her a lot better than I like Jar Jar Banks. So that was. I was just trying to. (laughs) I thought that she like. There's something a. about her that I found super super endearing. Yeah. Um and it's probably the optimism, the hope. Oh yeah. All that I stuff love her right message. Now is just like ah. and she's I thought she all was my favorite to, to me. colors. Oh yeah. She was pretty. So, um also the the Alan Tudyk, the Tuk Tuk, the big yes. beetle bug. If oh, anybody God. ever wants just a representation in a cartoon of what my dog is like. That's yeah. it. Egon <laughs> is Tuk Tuk. Awesome. <laughs> yep. We were sitting Tuk-tuk there watching so it. Awesome. She's like, hey, Furbug. And I'm like, holy crap, new nickname for my dog. It's all. This yep. is so it. <laughs> Furbug. Furbug. <laughs> a Furbug. He was so yeah, cute he... and like yeah. stuck on his back. <laughs> You're a little, a little too big for this, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Every day I say something about that. So I, I really enjoyed it. Same. Same. I, thought yeah, it was I did too. I, beautiful. I loved the analogy. Mm-hmm. You know, if if you you love puppies, but if you brought one part of one, <laughs> you know, it's not the same. Oh my god, I couldn't believe they said that. It's so <laughs> accurate. Know. So accurate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Like my jaw hit the floor. I was like, "Holy crap, oh, Disney! Yeah. You just talked about bringing pieces of a puppy to a party." <laughs> yes. Had to make a point. Yeah, and it was oh, a gosh, it yes. was an accurate point. Yeah, and then I you... did really like the character design of the other daughter. Oh yeah, she was badass. I she just looked she just looked like a badass. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, oh, she's she's gonna be she's gonna be something to mess with. Here. Yeah, yeah. Cousin yeah. Ruckus. Yeah. I I felt that the I just the the whole thing with the drone and how they affect people. I was yeah. like, that is really just striking. It was really striking to me. Didn't it? Didn't it look a lot like um, neurons and people having depression? Oh, kind of, yeah. But also, yeah, yeah that's t- wow. Okay. Well, it feeds out. They feed off negative energy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. What a oof. very. And then. Um, yeah, it was, which is why the dragon and all that positive energy can bring them all. Um, never mind. I'm not gonna there say you more. Go. Good. That's too much. Just, yeah, just you go. Well, we're in spoilers. Yeah, it's true. We are in. Spo- we are in spoilers, spoilers, but I feel so. like that one might be too much. I feel like that's too okay. much. Okay. All right. I really. But I really liked it. Uh, let's see what else. Um, toot and boom. Toot and boom. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw that on a trailer, and I'm like. That's what DJ's talking about. <laughs> of course, the one thing that he's like, I have to just say this one thing is like an exploding fart beetle joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing. It was and pretty they, were pretty. they were very pretty. There was nothing in this movie that made me go, you know, that's just funky looking. Everything right? was just beautiful. And well thought out. It was good. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. I'm gonna go watch it again later. Cause I have to go watch it again later too. I think because mm. that was really good. Yeah, and maybe this time I won't cry through the whole thing. Only the through whole part thing. of it. Well, because you know some of it's coming. It started in the beginning. <laughs> when yeah, right. And then yep. you know she was alone, and I was like feeling a little bit for Ray, and 
then it was I Is that I, is that Daisy? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Correct. Oh, <laughs> Kelly okay. Marie Tran also in Star Wars. Nailed it. Yay. Well done, DJ. Wait <laughs> he's redeeming I got himself. One. <laughs> slowly <laughs> slowly but, yeah. yeah i just <laughs> it'll take some time <laughs> i just thought it was i i really i'll rave about it for hours so yeah so let's yeah. uh let's wind it up <laughs> it was it was worth the 30 dollars. i think to me yeah i, I mean, mean i've already seen it twice I, it was worth the 30 dollars to you for me too <laughs> <laughs> Wait, thank <what>? you <laughs> i mean um Oh, gotcha. Yeah. 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 Did you hear? Did I talk about it on the news last week that Netflix is cracking down on that? No. Like people sharing passwords? Oh, man. Well, that's the thing. It's like, it, it's one of those things where um, they're they're going to put out a, 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 what is it, a pop up? Yeah. And, and ask for a code. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you could. And I'm like, well, that's easy. Just call your friend and say, what's the code? Yeah, you can get around that. <laughs> if you know Absolutely. the person. I mean, it's not so much if you're, like, pirating your ex-girlfriends. Right. But if it's uh, if it's someone you're in contact with. I'm going to step away from the microphone for a second because my dog is trying to eat something he oughtn't. So. Oh, okay. okay. Guys talk. <laughs> All right. Let's talk. <laughs> but, yeah, I so, thought it was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I know Crackhead Blue enjoyed it a lot. So. Oh, good. Yeah. We, you said she saw it twice, right? I think she watched it once again, yeah, without me. Oh, okay. Um, I was like, I don't know what I was doing. Probably playing video games or something. But, yeah, you could have been streaming, um, or maybe you were doing homework. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you watch it twice already? Yeah, uh, right, she's, yeah. She's saying something in, in chat here uh, for everybody listening. I think oh, I think she had said that she watched it twice and started it a third time, but didn't make it all the way through. And a oh, okay. third time today, but only a third of the way through. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. They did good. They did a good job. Yeah. I, did you, you know. guys? So I like to watch all the way through the credits. And um, there was a thing at the end that said, um, thank you to everybody who worked on this because they made it entirely from home. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. they're like, thank you so much for having patience with us because we're stupid and don't know how to use the internet. And it's like, seriously, dude, you're still on mute. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. So I missed that too. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to watch that. <laughs> well, ever, I, I've always, because generally I listen to the music, and um, like at the end of Frozen, they have a disclaimer about guys eating boogers. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So there's always something in there these days. Yeah, hilarious. Um, oh, you made me think of something to say. Oh, now it's gone. Oh, well. That's, that's, that happens. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I really liked it. I would give it probably a nine. Yeah, Ooh, me yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd give it a nine. So, yeah. yeah. I really Definitely. liked it. Mm-hmm. I yiked it. Yeah. And that con baby. Well, Oof. And the kid, uh, the kid who had the the boat, the meal boat, yeah. was pretty good. What's his name? Oh yeah, he was awesome. Boone. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Captain. Captain Boone. Captain. And Chef Boone. Chef Boone. <laughs> uh, and all the dragons running on the rain. Oh, loved yeah, it. Yeah, that and was it's pretty. Just so pretty. It's so How pretty. How about that baby? That con baby, let mm-hmm. me tell you. Con baby. And her, were they were they baboons? I mean, you can't really tell because there are so many mythical animals anyway. So yeah. they are monkeys of some sort. Right. But that baby just, I mean, Super I funny. didn't expect that. I was not at all expecting. Neither did Raya. That. She was not yeah. expecting yeah. that. I would have been duped. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not, it's not a stretch. No, it's not it's easy. You're, a baby could get <laughs> a baby yeah. would get you. I saw the baby and I was like, "Ooh, you're supposed to be going fast. This is no, don't do it. I don't know what's gonna happen." So it was still a surprise yeah. when it did happen, but I was just like, "Don't do it. Don't do it." <laughs> yep. Wow. Crazy, but really cool. I mean, everything I liked about it. That yeah. Was just, yeah. Oh boy. All right. Um, well, Beth, what else have you been putting in your eyes? <laughs> um, let's see. I have been just really like up to my ears in 
the Disney, no, false, in the Discovery Plus, I've been watching a lot of Egypt stuff lately, and then I was watching mm. some on the Smithsonian Channel, which is through Paramount Plus, so I've been watching a lot of uh, ancient Egyptian artifactory and uh, learning about the dynasties and um, stuff like that. I've been actually listening to a podcast called Last Podcast on the Left a lot lately. I listen to it when I'm mm. alone at work. And um, what's that about? It's they do a bunch of like it's three dudes who do all the research on these big things that have happened in history and then. Mm teach you about it in a amusing way <laughs> okay my dog last is... podcast on the left. yeah okay. so i've uh listened to the one on the jfk assassination which was like actually i think five episodes four episodes on um jim jones and jonestown mm-hmm. also what else have I that's pretty gnarly yeah okay. it's bananas rasputin yeah. um just and they do a lot of research and they get really into it and then they make it hilarious to listen to how like these things went down because these none of these things are particularly funny there's nothing that makes you go ah the jfk assassination oh what a laugh fest but they make it accessible so you're learning but you're also like laughing your butt off because they are inherently funny people and uh so yeah, it's called Last Podcast on the Left. They do a lot of like conspiracy stuff or also just historical stuff or UFO stuff. Interesting things. So if you have time to listen and you just want to listen to three guys, they do swear a lot and they make a lot of dick jokes. So be aware of that. <laughs> but uh, they're very intelligent. <laughs> if you ask them, I'm sure they wouldn't say so, but they are. So lots of fun. For me. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> I might check that out. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> We're not swear wolves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what have you been watching as Joe? Oh, um, not much. Duh. Like between the two films, that's pretty much all yeah, you have was, time that for. Was yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. Between <laughs> streaming and the movies and... I mean, once ask me next week. Uh, I probably have some stuff, some answers for you. So. Oh yeah, from this week when things are, yeah, being okay. released. How about Very you, cool. DJ? Well, I watched a little bit more of Star Trek Voyager. I'm just kind of going through that. Yeah. I'm still in the first season, so I'm I'm going slow. Um, still slow going on Shooter, but we're watching that. I'm like, how many conspiracies can this one person get into? So but, uh, many. Yeah, lots. Um. I'm, I want to watch the Equalizer, but I've only seen four episodes, and and like the last episode was released uh, in February, twenty something, and like where is it? Did it get canceled? Well, keep in mind I, that um, you know, pen, the pandemic, pandemic happened, and it. not everybody started filming again as soon as they could. Right. So. Right. Um. Okay, so I can accept that. That's, you know, one of those things. Um, watch Cherry. Oh, um, how did you like that? Yeah. I I have mixed feelings. I, I kind of liked it. The story was good. Um, I, I have a... So Tom Holland, okay, the great actor, mm-hmm. um, he cries a lot, and I get it. It's There's good reason to. Um, and so he, he did a great job. Um, big problem though. I feel like he was too young to play this part. Um, so he played a part where he was in college. They start him off in college, and then he goes off to war for two years, mm-hmm. and then he comes back and ends up um in some drug induced. I don't even know what. Then he ends up in prison. Mm -hmm. And so it just seems like this really... I feel like somebody older should have been playing this. Um, Because by the time he gets out of prison, he's supposed to be super old, like in his... Like almost 40. Like Super old, okay. (laughs) You know, I mean, 
<laughs> Super old, I guess. Got it. Got it. Compared to <laughs> compared to Got seventeen it. year old Spider Man, I'm I'm just thinking, you know. Yeah, but okay, no. he's not Spider Man. Yeah, he's not actually. I know that's <laughs> I know that's who you know him as, and that's who right. you automatically right. identify him as. But he's not like sixteen years old. No, I I get it, I get it, but he still doesn't look the part. Like he doesn't look old enough acting um yeah so i mean even at the end they 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 actually did age him which was really it was good it was a great idea because he needed to be aged but then it didn't look well i mean he's let's see so he's 24 okay and yeah he looks like he's nine yeah Uh, he's uh he's quite the baby face yeah um yeah so uh, that's what worries about the cat worried the casting part it just really took did it take you out of the movie is that what the problem was Uh, you just couldn't get into it for that yeah and and trust me i don't see him as spider-man i just see him as a really young kid i just see him as baby tom holland right maybe when he's 30 he can do 22 or 25 (laughs) you know (laughs) <laughs> well, I mean, Put look at how college. casting in, Hol- in Hollywood anyway. They're like, okay, yeah. so you're going to be 17, you're 35, and you're going to be... <laughs> right, so just, exactly. I, I understand Those what you're saying. shows in the 80s did that too, right? They yeah. used super old people to play All like, the time. Yeah, yeah. And they still do, but they also... Yeah. yeah. It's, I guess it just depends on who the casting director is and what they think people can pull off. Um I think he's really trying to break out of the the Disney zone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and I, I don't blame him. Yeah. I don't blame him. I think he did a great job in this. I, I really do. Like, despite that part, I was able to, like, really look at the film and go, that that was really good. Good. Um, I did think the music was really good. I just think that it was too loud. Like, like they mixed it poorly? Yeah. Hmm. Like, it was very mixed poorly. And then sometimes, like his girlfriend slash wife I could hardly hear her I couldn't understand what she was saying I hate it when that happens yeah so I mean in a scene where the two of them are talking I'm like did did you move the microphone to her I like I couldn't <laughs> I could hear him but I couldn't hear her like what was going on and then of course like I said the mil- the music was too loud like there were some really really wonderful emotional scenes that were just taken out by the music. Yeah. Even though the music was great and very well chosen, I just don't think it was... I didn't think it added. I think it subtracted. Okay. So well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, me too, actually. I really wanted to enj- really, really like this film, but I, you know... Um, I, I guess I'd have to go with a five. If we're going average... And, and and picking the sheriff's average version. Oh, wow. I'll go with five, <laughs> yeah. Um, my normal would be a seven, but I really don't think I can even bring it to that. Huh. So, hmm. yeah. Um, but uh, Yeah, because your yeah. average is usually higher than five. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Right. Well. So I'm, I, I'm picking the sheriff average. <laughs> so that helps me get through it. <laughs> actually, average. Um, which is actually right. yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly and there's no bell curve here so that's definitely the average there you um, go yeah <laughs> so yeah there's that's cherry i mean it's a good story it really is it's a nice story i think it was good so yeah that's okay. it and that's that that's all i could remember watching yeah you know. sometimes you oh. watch so many things that it's like I've yeah. I've watched about forty seven thousand episodes of MythBusters this week because it's just on forty seven thousand. I know I've watched oh like goodness. all of them over and over. That's a lot. I watched them. That's a lot. I watched the Hindenburg episode like six times. Um, oh, okay. Just because did you guys know they basically had a hydrogen balloon covered in thermite? Yeah, and then they were good. survived. They were surprised when the thing like roasted in thirty six seconds. Yeah, it was, it was bad news. Not it was basically a floating explosive. Yeah, like, right, let's yeah. do this. So, well, you know the the things the com- the components of thermite weren't together. They were next to each other on top of each other. Uh, but even if it just one little bit goes yeah. through, yeah. 
Oh, I did. I have been watching, um, like, John Oliver. Yeah. Was he so, on last night? I, I don't think he was on last night. I don't know. I, he might have been. I just, I missed it if he was. Because he comes out on Sundays, right? Yeah. Um, so I think he was there. I have to look. Um, and then I've been watching a little bit of Late Night with Stephen Colbert. Ah, okay. So, because that's on the, the CBS All Access. The, so the Colbert. Just, yeah, Colbert. Mm. Oh, All Access, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Mountain Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus. Mountain yes. Plus. The Mountain, Mountain Plus. There's so many networks doing this. It's like Yeah, yeah. Eventually, you're going to be paying more than you were paying with cable. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I already, like, have... Uh, my internet is just already so high without cable. And they're like, oh, just add $50 more for all this cable stuff. I'm like... Why? <laughs> you already get me with the internet. Yeah. I'm not giving you my money. Although I'm giving them my money. <laughs> All right. I've <laughs> said enough. I've said enough. Uh, trivia. I didn't get anybody uh, to say it uh, last week, true or false. But anyway, true or false in the Harry Potter universe, humans speak a language called gobbledygook gobbledygook there we go if i could say it right and that is false everybody yeah and for those of you who are harry potter fans you know it's actually uh the goblins which makes sense because it sounds like gobble and gobbledygook <laughs> there you go whatever. yeah so this week's question here we go this one's gonna be a little bit harder you know we're gonna tax your brain a little bit what drug does Ben Stiller's character sell in Little Fockers? <laughs> okay. So, that's it. That's the question. And I'll, I'll have to ask you how to pronounce it, because I don't have any idea. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, if you have a favorite film of Seth Green, send us a text at 512podcast. Or you can send us a, a, anything, like a sh uh, an email, shout out at tfwmovies.com, or uh, at tfwmovies on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know, all those great things. Yeah, all the fun stuff. Yeah. Time to plug something, everybody. Okay. You Do ready? Uh, Checho's Standard Tattoo Parlor. That's right, Big Checho. Uh, it looks like he's about to open up, which is kind of nice. I think he did already. Wait a minute. Are you guys in the red now? In, in think, San Diego? Uh, isn't everybody? I think it's this Wednesday mm -hmm. is when they're going to make the next uh, assessment. Okay. Well, all his information is over there on uh, on Instagram uh, at the Standard Tattoo Parlor. Um, and you can give him a call and make an appointment. Huh? How do you like them apples? <laughs> I apple like sauce. apples. I like apple pie. <laughs> I like apples um, with peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Um, I wrote a book. It's called The Nerda in Law. Yeah. Uh, about uh, having a relationship with somebody that has parents that are deaf and speaks a completely different language. Actually, doesn't even speak a language. Huh? Um, let's see. 29 Toes Podcast. I think they're still trying to figure out their stuff. So we're working on that. But we love them. Listen to what they've got. Uh, Joe, what have you got? Uh, again, my Twitch channel, you can find me at uh, twitch.tv slash apostle underscore OFC. Uh, we stream Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, and I have to open my, my other Discord. I completely failed. I usually have this down for, for, for Beth. <laughs> Well, <sighs> oh well, ladies and gentlemen, you've made it through the show far enough that you get to hear the thank yous. I know that because DJ was struggling to put the thank yous in the chat. <laughs> but now we've got it. Hey! So, as we always do at the end of the show, we would like to thank everyone. Thanks for watching is the name of the show. Thanks for listening to it. Uh, we would like to thank our Patreon members first. Lucas, Abby, Tyler, Teacher Jam Strauss, Sean Blue, of course, and Wendy. We'd like to thank Big Checho, who's awesome. He does our picture work. I like that. I'm going to start calling it that. Picture work. I like picture, it. picture work. Yeah. He's a nice guy, and he, uh, you know, he's a super, super nice guy. So 
High five, Big Checho. We would like oh, to yeah. thank the cast. So that's DJ McGee over there watching Star Trek, Joe Ray over there watching Star Wars, and me over here watching Mythbusters. <laughs> <laughs> We're all over the map. Yeah, everywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm watching Star Wars, too. But right now, Mythbusters is on on the other side of the room. Uh, we would like to thank the beautiful ladies behind the scenes who keep us from going absolutely bananarama in these crazy COVID times. So that's Miss Crackhead Blue, a wonderful human mm-hmm. being. Dorothy Ooh. Field, and that's my mom. And the glorious Miss Penny McGee. Thank you, ladies. You're, uh, hey. you, you octopi my heart. <laughs> octopi? <laughs> yeah, like an octopus, because octopus is my favorite animal. It's just, sorry. Yep, anyway. True. But most of all, we would like to thank you, the listener, for listening. Because if you didn't, we would be talking and just throwing the words out into the ether and nobody would listen and it would be sad. So thank you again for listening. Make sure in these times you wash your hands, wear a mask, do your thing. Have a dog that sounds like he's crashing (laughs) like the Hindenburg over there. And uh, be excellent to each other. There it is. Hey, it was a red herring you couldn't see through.